When it's time to start tagging your doors, there are a few special things to keep in mind that will make your job a lot easier and much, much faster. To start, keep in mind that on the annotate ribbon, there is a button called tag all. Its real name is tag all not currently tagged, which is handy if you've already gone through and for instance, tagged a single door. Tag all will not place another tag over that one, which is very nice. But what we need to remember is as we talked about in the last video, all of the parallax doors are built with a large number of shared nested families, which Revit also considers doors. So if you run tag all and tell it to tag all of the door components, what you'll end up with is multiple tags at every door, in some cases as many as five, as you can see here, or seven. This is undesirable, of course. But filters for all of your view templates and your project template have been distributed with the door library in the sample file. So using tag all is still 100% viable in the project environment. All you have to do is first go down to the bottom of your view settings and enable temporary view properties because we don't want to make this change to the view permanently. When you get the purple outline that says you're now in temporary view properties, you can go into visibility graphics and filters. Once you're in there, you will find a filter called doors parent families not. What this says is this filter selects all of the doors that are not parent families, meaning it will select the nested panels, the nested frames, the nested hardware, the nested swings, the nested clearances. If you uncheck that box temporarily, your doors will occasionally, they will look a little funny right at this moment. But that's okay because they're only going to stay this way long enough to click tag all and hit apply. You'll now notice exactly one tag is on every door right where we want them. And now you can simply hit restore view properties and everything now looks 100% how we would expect it. But because those nested components were not visible at the time tag all was run, there are no tags placed on those items. Similarly, we also know that we were looking at some of these doors having ratings for life safety. There are a number of tags that have been distributed with the doors for use on life safety plans. If I place the standard door tag on a couple of these doors, I can show you these tags. If I select the door tag and go to the type selector, you'll have a few different types in your template. One of them, for instance, is life safety, egress, number, rating, and occupant. If you switch to that door tag, you'll see that there are now a large number of fields. The bottom one is the door number. The top one is the number of occupants currently served by this door. It's using the door width minus the number of panels times a specific factor that's given to each door panel uh, that can be changed by door type. I believe it's currently set to uh, 2.25 inches uh, just for uh, conservative sake. Uh, and we're using the 0 0.2 inches for the occupant width factor in all of the door types as well. So you have number of people served by the door and the door number. The third big field that's blank is the door rating. So if you had typed in 45 minutes on the door like we saw earlier, and you switched this one to the same tag, you would see that this door will have a bright red 45 in the tag. Um, obviously this may be changed to suit your firm's graphical standards. The fourth field that's available in the tag is occupants required to be served by this door. And there is no automation there because naturally you have to do your code review and then divide it by the number of uh, egress doors that you have in the project. So it is a field that you can come in and say this door requires 44 people to be able to exit out of it. And if we're serving 338, we're obviously very far in the clear. Now, this tag is great for when you're doing your exterior doors uh, for egress and life safety, but there are times when you just have doors that you want to show the rating on, and this tag can be a little large for that. Uh, because of that, there is also a simplified tag that is called rating only. And you'll see that basically it's the bottom two fields of that tag. It's simply showing you door number and rating in minutes of that door. So there you go. 
uh, new to the library in terms of door tags, uh, there is what we now call the quality control door tag. Uh, the quality control door tags are not meant to be printed to paper um, as they are uh, extremely small font, but they're very handy for PDFs. Uh, so if you were to switch to the QA QC door tag, there are two sizes. There is a large one and then there is an ultra small. But you'll see that here uh, the door tag will actually report information about the frame and the size and particular heads, jams, sills, uh, and other information that may be um, currently filled out in the door. If you switch to the one called ultra small, you'll see that the font gets extremely, extremely small. The intent of the ultra smalls is that if you are working in an everyday floor plan and you've already tagged all of your doors and somebody simply wants to do QA QC, you can select all instances visible in this view and switch them all to the ultra small before PDFing your set of drawings. What this will do is create extremely small tags with large amounts of information about the doors. Then you can PDF it and then you can switch them back to normal tags. Each door can then be zoomed in on in PDF format and you'll be able to in the PDF read what is panel one type, what is panel two type, what are the head jam sill threshold conditions. Um, right now in this sample file they look a little strange because this file is upgraded from 16 but the actual 2018 library version has all the font corrected so they don't look as jumbled as what you just saw. So now we'll switch those back uh, to the regular door tags. Um, and the only other things to keep in mind are that there are additional filters that are shipped with these door libraries. Uh, some of these filters are pretty obvious and transparent in what they do, <clears throat> but we do have filters made that are searching for all of the different potential ratings by uh, fire rating minute shared parameter that is loaded in all the doors. So if you want to color code your 20s versus your 45s versus your 60s, you can do that. Um, so that is uh, everything that you need to know about tagging the doors. Um, if you have any other questions, I would uh, consult the PDF guide on how to use the parallax doors. Thanks.